Hey guys, so today I have my bathing garden order that has come in. I ordered probably about six weeks ago before she shut down her, I think she did the circus one again. And she had also put up the Take Me to the Sea. And that one has a lot of fresh, uh, like ocean type scents. So of course I was interested in that one, but I, there was a few of that from the circus collection that I wanted. So when I got this package outside, when I went to go pick it up by my door, I could smell the wax coming through. I know there's been some talk of in some of the wax groups about the wax not being as strong. And I did a review actually, a bathing garden, like a spotlight review. I don't know what I did. Like um, a vendor scent pick for like a week and all I melted was bathing garden for like a couple weeks. And um, I should probably link that video somewhere so you can see it. Cause I think I had, you know, like every vendor you have hits and misses. But I thought her wax performed decently for me. So now I wouldn't say she's one of the strongest vendors out there, but you know, as far as scent uh, performance, but um, it's not bad. It's, I mean, I've had worse. So anyways, and her wax is always, in fact, this order especially, I am really impressed with, I think it's been so long since I've ordered uh, bathing garden that I'm like just re-impressed by all the artistry that she puts in her tarts. So let's go ahead and get started with the samples really quick. So these are some that she has up now under her, let's see, this one is under Taste of Summer. And the first sample that we have is called Dizzy. And Dizzy is, get dizzy with this blend of strawberry, lime, orange, and notes of boozy daiquiri, of course. So this came in this little, in this tart here with um, sparkles. You know, this is not as fizzy as I would have thought. Uh, you know, like you get some of those fizzy notes that are really strong and dominant. This one actually I didn't like initially, but um, I think I'm getting more of like the strawberry and, and the oranges all just kind of mingling together in this really nice scent. It's not super dominant on any one note. So um, I don't know, I might look at that one. I'll see, I might try to warm it, but usually I let this stuff cure for a little bit. I don't know how, you know, how long ago she made the samples. This one's just kind of a random sample. I'm gonna try to smell it and see what it is. It's really pretty though. It's a bundt cake with some sparkle. Yeah, no clue. Yeah, no idea, it just smells fresh. Um, Monkey Wrecked, and I know I saw a scent description for this somewhere, but I could not find it. So we have another bunt cake with some pink sparkles. I feel like it has banana. There's some sort of note in there that I've smelled before. Maybe it's lemon. I don't know. I'm not I'm not even gonna try to speculate what that might be. Move those. Uh Lavender Serenity, which I believe is on the site right now. And oh that one got kind of smushed. Probably got kind of hot since the temperatures have kind of now this one I don't like because the herb um the lavender is very herbal. Yeah, that would not be a favorite. If you like herbal lavender, you would probably love that one though, because I don't smell herbal lavender that much anymore. Summer Melon and Mint. I know a lot of people like this one. This is, looks like a wreath. Ooh, this one's heavy on the mint. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know why my throat's going out all of a sudden. Yeah, this one is like nose clearing. It um, This one would almost be good for like a, a cold because I can feel it clearing out my nose as I uh, smell it. I might just keep this one on hand when I get sick. <laughs> just keep it in the bag and just keep whiffing it when I get sick because that will clear out your nose for sure. Wow, okay. So let me find my picture here because I took the picture of the scent description so I could be a little bit thorough because obviously... Um, 
The bad thing about this is I got a lot of fresh beachy scents, so I'm probably gonna be seeing fresh and all that a lot. So let's go ahead and let's focus on, first of all, the Tarte. So this first one is Beach Bum, and let's just admire her artwork here for a second. I just, I don't know, I just think she does just an amazing, amazing job. Look at that Tarte, oh my gosh. I did paint my nails teal just for this video because, um, well, for different reasons, I painted them teal. But I put this, um, actually this hand is probably a little bit better, but I don't know if you can see. I put this top coat on, well, it's not a top coat. It's like a, there we go. And it doesn't really look that good because it's, it's kind of an older polish, but it's got like these copper glitters in them. It's really pretty in the bottle, but it didn't come out as well on my nail. I think I need to do like a white nail and then put that over top. That'd be really pretty. But anyways, so let's get back to that. Um, that's what reminded me when I opened the box and I was looking at these tarts. I was like, dang, I have a nail polish that looks similar to this with all those flecks of like copper and blue. So anyways, this is Beach Bum. I just think that is so gorgeous. Oh, love it. Okay, so Beach Bum is that up there. Uh, sand, sea, and fresh air combined, combined with hints of jasmine and mandarin. Yeah, sand, sea, fresh air combined with hints of jasmine and mandarin. The funny thing is when I smell this, it almost smells like... Um, suntan lotion but I actually I think it's jasmine this one if I remember correctly was not my favorite you know I think it's the jasmine and I have I've had jasmine actually in shower gel like I've had a straight jasmine scent and I don't remember it smelling like this but this one always for some reason reminds me of like like a, a bathroom like a store bathroom that you go into it is a little bit prettier than that though. I mean, I have had some bad ones before, but that one I think I remember was not like my super ultra favorite. So this next one here is Calypso. And it looks like we have a mermaid holding something. Looks like a seashell maybe. It's hard to tell. But again, holy crapola. I mean, that is just gorgeous. So Calypso is sea salt, vetiver, driftwood, jasmine, and coconut, a very fresh and clean scent. I'm trying to remember what vetiver is. Hmm. Ooh, that one's pretty. Okay, that one. That one almost has like a manly note. Not getting a lot of coconut, which is good. I can smell that driftwood. It's almost kind of a manly, it's got like a manly touch to it. I really like that one. That one's pretty as well. I wouldn't have expected that. There's that. Let's go ahead and pull up. Crankenberry. Now this one was kind of a, um, a stretch for me. Oh, I like how cute. It's an octopus on there. Crankenberry is sugared pink berries, vanilla beans, and light notes of citrus and flowers. Uh, the only thing that really got me on this one is I probably wouldn't have picked like a berry note, but it's sugared pink berries. So I was like, that one's probably going to be okay. So this one did get cracked in um, transit, which is okay. It was like, there was only two in here that got cracked, but look at how pretty. I love how she did the, um, I like it when people do like a pink color like this and then really make it pop with like the teal, you know? I'll have to remember that. Like I love color combinations like this that, um, I don't know, I'm a colors person. Like if you put something in like this, like with a pink and then like the blue, I'm gonna notice. So this one is, this one I smell a lot of the vanilla beans. Yeah, I'm smelling really heavy vanilla. And it is really light on the citrus and flowers. And I get just a hint of the sugared berries. That one smells a little bit artificial to me. I mean, not really bad. I mean, I've smelt worse. 
But um, yeah, we'll have to see how that one does warmed. Now I usually let my bathing garden cure for quite a while. Um, I don't know, I might try some of the samples out though, just to see. Okay, so this next one is absolutely gorgeous. Mermaid tears. So we've got the mermaid on the, I don't know why my camera won't focus on that. But this one, oh my God, I was just like, are you freaking kidding me? It's an actual mermaid. And look at those glitters on there. That is just like, I'm not even gonna wanna warm this one. So Mermaid Tears is a sparkling spa-like scent of essential citrus oils, tropical greens, and salty tears. And you do definitely get the green note in there. The salt is different than like a sea salt. It almost is like salty tears. That's weird. This one is really pretty. A lot of these I can see uh, warming in the bathroom for sure. So usually I get, you know, usually most people have good luck in their bathroom with things that are maybe slightly medium or lighter throwers. But um, like I said, I've had some strong throwers from Bathing Garden as well. So this next one is Pink Sand. And so that is the, there we go. And this one, oh yeah, this is the other one that got cracked in transit, but. So we have a little sand dollar there with the glitter galore and just pretty sparkles all over. So she really outdid herself with this one. Uh, pink sugar blended with tropical suntan lotion. So that's kind of not really hard to figure out. Yeah, this is a nice mix. Um, it's not too heavy on the suntan, not too heavy on the pink sugar. It kind of reminds me of Pearls of the Ocean a little bit. I believe Pearls of the Ocean is kind of the same. It's pink sugars. Pearls of the Ocean is pink sugar, suntan lotion, and salty ocean, uh, sand fresh breezes, and mandarin. So it smells similar in a way, but I mean, it's not similar, it's different, but it's still good. I did not reorder Pearls of the Ocean. I had had that one before and it was not like my super favorite. So Sea of Tears, I have had this one before. This one's a great bathroom scent. And I'm not sure, what is that on the picture there? It's like a bag of, it looks like a bag of um, like shells or rocks that you would collect. So again, absolute gorgeous. So Sea of Tears is sea salt, ocean mists, and aquatic floral. And I mean, that's just what it is. It's, you really kind of get that floral note in there. This one's a little bit lighter than the other ones. I don't know why, but I'm having a harder time smelling that one, so. Take me to the sea, and let's see what try to see what the picture is. It looks like a jar of stuff, <laughs> jar of seashells, perhaps. This is the one that I was like, holy crapola! So again, we've got the white, the blue, and the coral. I love the color combination. And then right there in the, she's got it looks like rocks, like um, sea glass. You know what I mean? So that one is gorgeous. What is this one again? Oh, take me to the sea. Okay, so Take Me to the Sea is uh, lemon, grapefruit, sea salt, and windy sea air blend with a beechwood and light floral. So this one got me because I love fresh air scents with a little hint of citrus. And this one is, this, this one really uh, does have that. Now it doesn't take over the whole thing. It's not like lemon and grapefruit just like slam you in the face. It's just a hint of it. It would almost be like if you were sitting on the beach and someone maybe had like a lemon or like a grapefruit perfume type scent on and it kind of wafted by you while you were sitting, you know? Just very subtle, not too like strong. So let's take me to the scene. 
So this next one is from, I don't know which restock this was. Um, it might have been the circus one. I can't remember. It may still be up. I don't think it is. I don't remember. Blackberry jam and lemon curd. I've heard people talk about this one before, and I don't believe I've ever had it. This one is pretty basic as far as the um, aesthetics on the clamshell. But I did want to try, I'm kind of... I'm kind of getting out of the blackberry jam sugar, or yeah, no, blackberry jam butter cookie, I believe. Blackberry jam butter cookie. Uh, kind of getting tired of that scent. But I don't believe that I had ever tried hers. Now hers is a little more, it's a little bit more perfumey blackberry. And the lemon curd on, strong, on top is strong. This one, yeah, this one might be really good. I don't know what this blue stuff is on here. I keep finding everywhere. Okay, so the next one we have is Clowning Around. And I have had this one before, but I believe I de-stashed it. I don't remember why I de-stashed it. Um, I think at the time, I just, like, it wasn't a scent that, like, I was drawn into. But when I saw it up, I was like, I'm really into those kind of scents right now, so... So clouding around is um, salty and sweet popcorn, buttercream and candy corn with blue cotton candy and toffee dipped apples. So the thing that I love about the scent of this, let's look at the um, clams. So she actually has, so it's double layered or triple layered, blue, red, and yellow. And it's got the little toffee apple in here. The thing I like about this clamshell or the scent is that you get sweet and salty at the same time. Yeah, so you get the sweet from like the toffee dipped apples and then the the popcorn. It's a really unique scent and I don't, I haven't seen that a lot in wax. I don't smell that a lot. I love, look at all that, that's gorgeous. Um, So yeah, so I really love the salty and the sweet components of this. So that one should be really nice to warm. So. Okay, so the next one is the Contortionist. And I do you believe I have a... So this one is, this one just enticed me by the scent description because it just sounded so interesting. It's a bottom layer of green tea and ginger sugar crystals topped with cherry blossom clotted cream. And so again with the glitter, it just she looks like she went like eight with the glitter this time. I mean really. And then we've got green on the bottom. So I can get the cherry blossoms on the top. Let me pull it out and see. I do like green tea and I can smell that green tea on the bottom. Not really getting too much of the sugar ginger, but I'm not really 100% familiar. The green tea almost takes on like a, like kind of a floral note a bit. I'm getting glitter all over myself. Cherry blossom is not as bad as I would thought, have thought. I wasn't sure if I was going to like the cherry blossom, but I think it's sweetened out enough with that cream that it's okay. And the last one, and I'm really surprised that I really did like this one, Fried Candy Donut. This one, um, I don't have a scent description for available. I don't know. I didn't look for it or whatever. I just figured it was pretty self-explanatory. But I always try donut scents from different vendors, and I still have not really found one that I'm like totally in love with or at least one that I've I've done a few hauls with stuff that had donut in it but um, nothing that I've warmed so but this one on cold right now I think I'm in love with so so I'm guessing that's supposed to be like a donut shape I'm trying to think I've I know I've seen a donut in this kind of shape before but I, it's, it's been a while so that's what it looks like this one really is good. It's got uh, a berry scent. I remember it had berries in it. And it's almost kind of like the berries almost kind of smell like a blackberry jam butter cookie now that I'm smelling it. But you get kind of that dough note as well. 
I don't know, I just really like this donut scent. As far as, you know, I, I don't know if it's the berries mixed in with that or what, but anyway, she still has the Take Me to the Sea collection up, and yeah. I didn't get any um, scrubs this time. I feel like I need to get through my existing scrubs before I order any more. I did see that she put some up for this go around that um, I do like, like Seven Layer Cake is a great scrub. I really love that one in the shower, but um, I, like I said, I kind of need to get through my other scrubs before. I usually buy like six or seven each restock, but I haven't ordered from the bathing garden in a while. So when I saw the Take Me to the Sea collection, that kind of threw me over the top because I love like my fresh scent. So yeah, there's a few in there that I might um, have to go back in and get a little bit more of because um, I do like them and they are I do feel like some of these are really original. I wish her clowning around, like that clowning around, I would love to get another one of those because that one smells amazing with that sweet and saltiness component to it. I love that. So, um, yeah, so I will be back hopefully with some warm reviews. Uh, well, actually, I mean on this order, it won't, it'll be a while, but um, I've kind of had a weird week, so I won't be having my um, weekly warm reviews. In fact, I've probably warmed like two cents this whole week. So, and one I had to dump because I didn't like, and the other one, I can't remember what the other one was, but yeah, it's not been a good week for melting at my house. <laughs> so hopefully I will, um, once things kind of normalize, I can get back into it and come back with some warm reviews. I'm anxious. I'm starting to feel anxious because I keep going to my warmers and I see that they're empty and I'm like, I want to fill you up, but I have guests, so I don't want to like overwhelm them with the scent, so um, I should be back with a, I have a small front porch order and what's the other one? Oh yes, yeah, super tarts. Yes, super tart. Let's talk about super tarts for just a minute. Uh, now that she's ready to ship, I'm in, I'm going to be in trouble. I'm just telling you right now because, um, she put up her first one was last Friday. It was late Thursday night, Friday for me. And I woke up Friday morning and I saw the new scents. She seems to be doing a really good job of putting up um, some older, like some of her house blends and then some collections and that kind of stuff. Well, then yesterday, I thought she wasn't going to put anything up until Thursday or Friday, but today's Wednesday. Last night, which was Tuesday night, she put up some more. She's doing gray, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey and that collection, whatever, whatever it's called. And then, um, Pretty Little Li or whatever she calls them, but the Pretty Little Liar themed tarts. So there was a few from each of those that I had to get. And then she put up, I think it was Wasp. I don't think that's a house blend, but it's, um, I'm trying to think what that's from. I can't, but she put that up and then I feel like there was, oh, her Fluffy Violet Candies or something is another house, is a house blend. So she's doing really good about kind of putting a variety of things up. So that's trouble right there. That is trouble. And then Bath and Body, which is also trouble. But I'm trying really hard to restrain from Bath and Body until I get through what I have. And then, you know, since she's restocking now every week, I don't see there really being an issue as far as, you know, if you miss something one week, there's probably going to be something just as great next week. So anyways, so I, I do have Super Tarts coming as well, I think it's the whole point of that. <laughs> and then I had to go into the whole rant about how she's going to be killing us all because she's going to be doing weekly restocks. So I feel like there was something else that I had outstanding, but now I can't remember. Anyways, okay, that's it. But yeah, so I will talk to you guys soon and hopefully I'll be back soon with uh, weekly melts. Okay, talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.